My name is Phil Leonard. I'm the production designer of Prison Break. Of course, we're back in prison, and I think it's, uh, it's going to have a lot of challenges, and I think uh, people really enjoy this season. And it's a whole different flavor from being in prison in the United States. We started researching all the prisons uh, south of the border all the way down to Brazil and finding everything we could find out about the prisons. And if you go to a lot of these prisons, there's a great deal of artwork, and it's, it's not just one type, it's all different types. Once we settle on the creative look, then we start doing sketches and start doing the working plans, and then we start production as far as building the sets themselves. There's nowhere large enough for us to do it all in one place, and the prison, the interior obviously is on a stage, which is easier to work, and we're able to build a yard which has four sides to it and uh, it's about 120 by 120 and you can't see out of it so you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. The most important thing is a certain vision the production designer has and, and so I just try to capture that. Because the ideas are always shifting a little bit, I'm redrawing on a regular basis. After they've been approved by the production designer, they go straight to the construction um, coordinator. He takes it from there and then finishes them off and then the production designer pretty much is hands-on to, to make sure that all the details are finalized. Uh, my name is Tony Farrell. I'm the construction coordinator. Um, my role in this was uh, to take what they have as uh, the drawings and, and make it happen a reality. I get drawings from the art department and then uh, I go over it with my foreman and we determine material-wise what we need and uh, what direction we're going to head in it and uh, basically how long we think it's going to take us. This year, the way it went, we brought in our, we brought in our crew, we struck the old sets, um, we started to build the new sets. Ten days into the build, we brought in the scenic painters. You know, we lay out the walls on the floor, we stand them, we put them together, and then the scenics come in and start making it look like this. I've got a large amount of scenic painters that are not just painters but artists that are doing all my, all my graffiti and all my graphic stuff here. All the paintings here, they're all done by hand. It's whether it's film friendly or not, uh, you know, we can't just build something that they like the way it looks. It's also got to be, you know, something that the company or the crew can film. You know, we put more beams in a hallway. That's a lot of changes. We put in beams to keep you from seeing off the top of the set. To shoot a wider, longer a look at something. It's all got that Southwest mode, you know, the, the Adobe look, the concrete look. All of this stuff was, uh, this was all made from scratch and all the, all the metal steel, it's all being fabricated. We have a fabrication department this year, which we didn't have last year. All the bars, all the, everything here you see that's metal is built from scratch, just from raw metal. I hope you enjoy watching the show and keep watching it, and I hope you feel after watching this show that you hope you'll never be in a prison like this one.